Hello everybody and welcome back to St. Cuthbert Plays Divinity Original Sin 2. Now, last time we left off, we had gone down into the underground tunnel. Um, but on my time off camera, I decided and to install a mod that allows me to give Lone Wolf to Los. I traded out one of her old talents and put gave Lone Wolf to her, so she no longer has arrow affinity is what she had, which that allowed her to, if she shot a special arrow, it allowed her to pick it up back up sometimes, so it was like a 30% chance, something like that. So I traded that out, I gave her Lone Wolf, because I was reading through a lot of forums in the subreddit, and a lot of people were saying that if you're trying to do a Lone Wolf run, you really want to start out with either a party of four until you can get the lone wolf tree on one of your other followers or to just install a mod that gives you lone wolf because otherwise it's just going to be way too difficult to go through your second party member is going to be so underpowered compared to you and as well as the enemies so i did that also when we were trying to walk back to the underground tunnel i aggroed migo apparently um so i guess we're just going to go ahead and try to fight this so we'll we'll see how we do i don't i don't, I don't know how difficult it's going to be we're going to try um, I don't have peace of mind in my hotbar. Why not? I still have it. Interesting. Stupid consumables that are in there too. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go through this combat. I think we can take this guy. He's level four, we're level two, but if, I mean, if we kill him, that's a huge amount of experience for us. So, let's go. Courage going. Um, I'm not in range to shoot him, so. Oh, another thing is I was reading through. If you have high ground as a ranger, you do bonus damage. Um, so if at all possible during combat, I would love to get to some place where I can have the height advantage on enemies. Doesn't look like I'm going to get that this combat. So I'm probably just going to take some pot shots at this guy. I'm too far still. I don't want to get too close with her. And damage. What weapon is she using? It's not great. And again, we're level two. Um, so we're just gonna enter a turn there. Oh, he heals from poison. Oh, but that doesn't fix his physical armor. Um, let's see here. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna teleport him away if I don't get his physical armor down this turn because I really want to get the knockdowns going. So if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna teleport him away. <laughs> work oh oh that took up three ap that's sad um teleport takes two yeah so i'm just gonna teleport him away give us an extra round of just attacking him um put him over there and we'll save an ap for next round Do I want any elemental arrows? Now, unless I can find some blood to get the bleed damage, I don't think it's worth it because I'm not going through. Really, he's too far away again. There we go. Hopefully, she's going to get through this. Alright, so I can start getting the knockdowns going because he's going to have to walk way over here again. Ugh, that's rough. Crippled me. Um. So I can't use that because I'm crippled, obviously. Um, I can't actually range to hit him, which is kind of upsetting. Can this hit him? No. Ew. Um, what I am going to do, he's standing on poison, so I am going to fire breath to destroy the poison. That removes a lot of his healing because he's no longer here from that. And then I'm just going to knock down, which will get rid of the fire, which will keep us safe. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to save those points until I'm no longer crippled. Um, Los. Again, is there any high ground available? No, so I'm probably just gonna back her up. Actually, he's not down for at least another turn, because next turn I'm also gonna knock him down. So let's just fire into this boy. You missed a man lying on the ground 10 feet in front of you? Oh, I am so upset. Alright, let's, let's get this. Get the knockdown. We're close. We'll get three solid attacks. Oh, he doesn't bleed. He spews poison on the ground when he takes damage. That's really odd. Obviously, I don't want to make my always poison with all my dire because we'll just heal him. Yeah. 
he's gonna stand up and we're gonna finish this boy <laughs> easy fight let's try this all in attack see how much damage that does the reason i don't use that is it's, it's only 18 damage and it requires three ip i don't think it's worth it migo's breastplate that's big and plus one strength i'm definitely giving that to my mega and restoration oh restoration is a healing spell we're definitely going to give that to probably los um just because well she's our main damage source so i would love her to have well, let's first of all put the breastplate on him um i would really like for her to do as much damage as possible but at the same time hmm yeah i'm gonna start by putting it on her just because what's we'll press but other armor i'm just gonna put his leather armor on her give her some there it is i don't think any type of armor reduces your ability to just shoot or anything like that um i know they have requirements but I don't think if I like put scale mail on her or anything, it's going to re reduce her ability to fire. I haven't seen anything like that at all so far. Anyway, I, I guess we'll find out. I mean, this is just leather armor. I don't think that would hinder her anyway shooting. Um. So, yeah, we're just going to go with that corpses. So Migo is actually pretty easy. Um, That's really the benefit of having somebody like a fighter in your party. If you're fighting single target, you can get a sweeper of mace that's ridiculous um if you have like a fighter in your party with a lot of knockdowns single targets are so easy to fight because you can just chain cc them and they never get to move so they just get the pump damage and that was <laughs> exciting i don't know what that was i guess that was like a luck thing anyway let's go back to the underground so yeah but it's the real struggle is especially when you're playing lone wolf um, from what I understand is when you're fighting a lot of different enemies like just huge groups of enemies Unless you can group them up to get the aoe knockdowns. It can be a struggle because if they end up getting back on los um, We're gonna have a bad time. I'm gonna quick save here Because unless I can peel for her really effectively She's gonna die pretty quick because she's not gonna be strong and if say there's five enemies and only two of us that's they get five turns to our two that's just a lot of extra attacks they get on us because the gun is only two of us as opposed to having a party of four all right so we're back to these fire slug boys um when this one gets close to me i'll try talking to it maybe not see i don't know if these guys are going to aggro us or not i can't persuade them or talk to them because as we found with the other one they, we don't have pet pals, so we can't speak to them. They don't understand us. Um, let's see. If I walk up back here, they gonna aggro. The fiery slime yeah, yeah, they are. Looms imperiously over you and a so I have to go through girl. these guys. Um, I don't understand what I'm saying. What you're saying, Grizzly Side Boy. I don't understand. I better keep out of your way. Back away from the creature. Um. Back away from it. Growls and lurches... Yeah, so I think it was probably going to attack us anyway. All right. So one of the biggest struggles we're going to run into in this fight is see all this smoke. Los is going to have a really hard time attacking anybody because of the smoke. Because it blocks on of sight. So if I can get her to high ground, like way up there would be incredible. And just face tank everything with St. Cuthbert. I wonder if that's too high up. We'll find out. This is the fire slug and the regular fire slug. So they're going to be walking anyway. So. Well, I think I'm going to actually kind of teleport her up there. Is that too far? That is way too far. That's not going to happen. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm just going to do some damage to this guy here. I'm probably actually I'm gonna want to fight them like in here that will give Los the best chance to attack them So I'm gonna do some strategic strategic repositioning here Get over into the water that'll also reduce the fire damage because I won't get burning on me um, And I'm gonna save those AP these guys are gonna walk over they might do some damage to Los but Hopefully not because they're so far away. Yeah, see they take healing from fire. So I think if I can get rid of that 
That takes five. So I'm gonna encourage first. So he's in range. And run run all the way up here. To get that sweet high ground damage. And also just to get her out of the way, I don't think slimes can climb. Um why did she not go all the way up? Excuse me? I Interesting, at least it's only one AP to get up here. Look at that range you get from high ground. That's incredible. That is so good. I guess it extends your range as well as your damage. See, look at how much damage we're doing right now. That is great. Uh, we're gonna end. She can't do anything with one AP. So hopefully he's taking enough to just face tank all this. That'd be great. We do have the restoration ring on um, Los. So let's just damage. I'm not gonna get the knockdown going. I think I'm just gonna do full attacks on this guy. Should be able to do solid chunk of damage. And Lo should be able to finish him off. I don't think it's worth getting the knockdowns going yet. Where is he going? Oh, is he trying to go all the way around to Los? I mean, that's actually probably good because that's a huge waste of time for him because he can't go up. So once they get up there, I'll just step down the ladder and force him to walk all the way around to us again. So I'll just focus the Royal, I think. Right? Like, um, I could finish him. I don't have a lot of sight on the Royal Fire Slug because it is standing in smoke so i guess i'm just gonna finish this guy down here did i finish it that has one hp tilted um and she has restoration i'm gonna restoration on him just to get that i think it's damage over time restoration yeah 10 vitality per turn so i'm just gonna leave that going on him um these guys are a long way off from getting to me so i'm I know that as long as the royal fire side comes over here to him, we should be good. I'm just gonna end save those AP. Um, he's gonna move back deeper into the water. And actually, can I tell by the fire slug? No, I can't. Um, so again, he's just gonna end and save the AP so he has a full round of attacks. Yeah, so they're probably at least a turn or two away from us. And if we step down again, it's just like, all right, they have to walk around again. So they're really just wasting their time. This thing, see, that's why the benefit of being in the water. All right, we're just gonna unload on this, this bitch down here. All right, so she's now knocked in range. I think I'm gonna blow all my knockdowns on the Royal just because she's kind of scary compared to these guys. Uh, can I get in range of, no, I don't have a line of sight. I'm just gonna walk over. So I have so much AP right now. Uh, get the knockdown. And do the all-in because I have three left. Yeah. Right now these guys are walking. All right, so after this turn, I would love to do as much damage as I can to the Royal and then get down. So how much AP is it to get down here? Cost two, so I have to save two to get down the ladder. Yeah, one more attack there. That's fine. And then we're just going to walk down the ladder. Then those slugs have to walk all the way back around because they can't use the ladder. That's what we call outplaying these boys. Yeah, look at this. We're just going to basically stun lock them by forcing them to walk around over and over again. And this is boss slug. Gone. Easy fight. Um... The one slug up there. I'm just gonna hold these two AP. Yeah, look, it's gonna walk back around. I think I'm gonna hold off on her walking back up just because I don't want her to go up and then walk back around just to waste our time. So I'm just gonna end her turn. Let them walk around. I'm not worried about these two little fire slugs anymore. I don't think we're in any danger of being killed. Because I still have a knockdown left, too. I missed. Um, I may as well take the knockdown. Or not, right? I prefer not to go in the fire, so can I just, like, position in the water still? Like, there. 
Uh, no. Oh well, it's knocked down. Oh, I still end up in the water. I guess I didn't go far enough for, to remove my body. Fine with me. Well, let's just finish this one. I don't think they're in range for ricochet. Where's the other one here? No. Oh, I can hit this button and it highlights. The tilde button highlights characters in combat. So it's a lot easier to see them when they're like standing in fire. When I, they're fire slugs. All right, so this one's almost done. It's knocked down. Um, this guy's hit percentage right now is actually atrocious. Um, can, I, can I see you? I cannot see you. Just end. But again, I don't want to walk out of the water if I don't have to. It's just damage I don't need to take. Um, I think it's probably worth it to step up here and get the height damage. I'm not 100% sure, but first of all, it gives us perfect line of sight. No worries about getting hit. And I think I, it might not be worth it for only two attacks. I probably would have done close to what, or probably a little bit more if I was just on the ground and just took three shots, but it, whatever. Not the end of the world. Uh, we're gonna take three and get the knockdown. Just in case Los doesn't kill him. She gets a bad miss or whatever. Worth it. It's good good practice. Getting the habit. There we go. Alright, that was a really good fight. I'm I'm happy with how that went. Uh let's get a nice sleeping pad going. See, that's so nice to have the sleeping bag. You just full heal. You don't have to worry about eating food or anything. Ooh, another attack. What is this? Crippling blow. I really want that. That is it, what it does, you hit somebody and they can no longer move. And also an exquisite sword. That's really good. I'm also going to equip that. And I should probably get a shield again because that's a one-handed weapon. Um, was that all the bodies? I think that was the royal that had the sword and the crippling blow ability. Um, so let's see here. Uh, learn crippling blow. We're going to equip this sword instead of this broken great sword. And I would love to find a shield again. I could probably go back to town and get one, but maybe I'll do that off camera just because I don't want to take the time right now to do it. Oh, we also leveled up. Look at that. Okay. Um, so I could do strength or con. I'm probably going to do con for now. Oh, I have two. two con and strength. I'll just keep going back and forth. Um, for this, on warfare or no attribution still? Next level reflect 15% damage. That's level three, but I'll get two points because I have Lone Wolf. So it'll be 20% of my damage I take reflected. That's insane. Um, warfare physical attacks deal. It'll be 25%, or so it'll be 30% more damage. My physical attacks. Um, or I could do single handed and get damage and accuracy. <laughs> Considering how frequently I miss, that might not be a terrible idea. But I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. I really, really, really like Retribution. But I think I'm going to do Warfare because actually I get a talent. I do get a talent this level. Um, so there's one I really want to get. Um, what was it called? I was reading through it the other day. What it does, it adds how many points I have in um, Warfare and it boosts my HP, my vitality. Um, so that is called. I got to find it here. Picture of Health. Uh, it gives you. Extra vitality, 3% for every point in warfare. So I'm gonna get picture health. Then I'm gonna go back to my core abilities and put some more in warfare. So that boosts my six times 3%, get an 18% more vitality. So I'm actually really tanky, 149 compared to Los who has what, 84? So yeah, I'm really tanky. Uh, I can also level her. Um, let's go with what's do for us chance and initiative that's really good because i want her to have a lot of initiative first of all because it allows her to get into a nice position during combat rather than waiting for somebody to attack me and lose a lot of hp because again she's going to be really squishy especially later game um so let's do wits let's do more finesse because finesse is just her base damage ability four abilities um i can do crit chance i think crit chance is super good especially on her long range dps um, Huntsman's also really nice. Damage attack from high ground. See, what is that thing that gives you bonus damage high ground? The two evade attacks are pretty interesting. I don't think we're gonna need to worry about that. Elemental range. 
Oh, shooting arrows will inflict bonus elemental damage depending on the server you're standing in. That would be great if I had a party of four because I do magic damage as well as physical damage. Um, but because I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, Gorilla, Leech, Monic. Monic is nice if I want to learn more skills because it just gives me three extra slots to put skills in. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now, though. Ooh, do I want to do Pet Pal? Let's see. All right, if I don't see anything else... Great, I'll do pet pal. Fuck it off, we're just as unstable, explode body torture. Bench. But... It's all magic. Yeah, I don't need that. So I'll probably do pet pal. Why not, right? We can talk to some animals. Elemental ranger. I don't, that's, I already looked at that. Elemental affinity. Come back, kid. Bigger and better. Come back, kid's really nice because if you die, you come back. Um, but who needs that? We're not going to die, right? Because we don't die all the time. Um, after shooting it. Yeah, so no, I'm going to do pet pal. Do it. We can talk to some animals. Yeah. Uh, combat abilities. Um, Huntsman. 24 damage damage. Attack from high ground and range is going to give me more damage, more crit chance. Um, does this give me anything else? Oh, so this would give me a total of four. Oh, no, I was saying what I have. Base one. For, yeah, I, th I, th I, th I thought the base and the plus from Lone Wolf would give me extra. So I'm going to get two either way. I was going to get bonus ranged. I, th I think I'm going to try to keep this fairly equal. Just because I think they're both good crit chance and then also the bonus damages. The percentage will... will I believe they stack. I hope they stack. I don't know if they stack. Actually, I don't know if they stack. I don't know if you get the range percent bonus. So say you have 100, you get the 5% bonus. So you have 105. Does the next percentage from range and or your huntsman add to 5% more from 105 or 5% more from the base? I don't, I'm not sure how the math works for that. Um, who knows? Um, so anyway, let's quick save after killing these slugs. Let's keep going. All right, so I love having the lone wolf. I think it's, it, it adds to the stratagem of it. Like it's no longer, I have four people. I can just overwhelm you and get a lot of attacks in. It's really, you really have to think hard about positioning, especially your DPS in these fights. Um, so I'm going to, has you have one potion you have four i'm gonna split i'm gonna split off a couple of this i split those split item um book of wonderlust i think he's gonna end up drinking more potions than her just because hopefully hopefully he's gonna be taking most attacks is the uh, ultimate plan here you? oh my you, get out of here where are the gods Go um <laughs> Charlie Beast on our silencer, that's aggressive as all hell. Um, but that's kind of my best persuasion, because it's it's a strength-based check. Um, in my intellect and wits. Come with stay quiet, the magic come, you both be in trouble. Um I'm gonna go strength because my best chance of silencing her. I think she's being crazy. Yes, he persuades success. I have a lot of points in persuasion. I, I just they do terrible things here. Interesting. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again. They'll do to me what they did to him. Um, I'm gonna ask how she escapes. Shh. You can't escape. Don't you know what's outside the fort? I do. I didn't. I have no idea what's outside the fort. Actually, I heard of a shelter in the Hollow Marshes, a place where sorcerers could go. The undead had their hands on me in five minutes, shredding, tearing. I came limping back, and now, now, now. Oh God. Um, I'm gonna ask what she's seen. Heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers, something about God woken. He didn't know anything. Oh, interesting. But they didn't care. So, do they think they're most more God woken? Because he screams. I heard something eating him from the inside. It this can't happen to me. Chick is it, hella crazy. Can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. So it sounds like the magisters are concerned about God woken, but isn't Alexander their God woken? 
That's just she's unstable to be. Where are you going? What are you doing? Uh tell him I should sit here and sell you better. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna try to leave Fort Joy. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death then. Decapitation. Yes, I do <laughs> wish that for you. No. <laughs> Well, thanks. I, I also wish to die by decapitation. Uh, let's quick save here. Ooh. I do have lock picks, but what do you think the odds of me being able to unlock this are? I'm going to go ahead and guess pretty low, considering how good I am. Wow, I actually did it. I am... Super surprised. I guess everybody starts with a base level of lock picking, and to get anything more difficult, you just need to have higher level of lock picking. So I guess everybody starts want to start with the base level of lock picking. Even my fighter, his clumsy ass plate mail hands. Got some chests going on here. Completely empty chests going on here. Um, let's start by checking in on some of these cells. They're also locked, and I don't think I have any lockpicks left. Okay. No, I do not. Um, I can probably beat them down. They have HP. I want to just beat down this door. Curtis, she's alive. Covered in moss or something. Um, yeah, why not? I'll just beat down the door. Sucker punch and expect to blow the. <laughs> oh, it knocks down targets too. Is that for my weapon? Did that give me that? Where did I get that from? Oh, one know what it is? It's because I have a one-handed sword and no shield. That must be what it's from. I'm just going to beat this door down. I guess. And I'll attack this door. All right. This might take a long time, so I might not bother doing that. Um, Maybe off camera or something I will just to just to get it down. Um. But for now, we're just going to leave it. Doing 15 damage at a time. It's going to take a long time. If any of these... Oh, this one's actually open? Zilic. Get that girl and her head sucker out of here. Interesting. I uh, guess he's talking about you. <laughs> Should I address him? He seems to know something about her. Yeah, I'm going to say that. She might that. know something. Hey, loudmouth. <laughs> I love Los. I'm trying to relax here, aren't I? Whatever's going on with you, prison. your passenger, I don't really need it in my vicinity. I'll do a passenger. What am I like her slave? You can, you can see it. See? Oh, she's talking yeah. about her, Good God, her yeah. host, whatever she's hosting. You're a mystic too. Mystic? Ha! <laughs> Seems to be a sort of demonologist, though. Was learning the arts at least. Never did have much of a knack for it. Studied under a real maestro, though. Learned this and that, too. Thanks, demonologist. As we can... Is in Los's head. Ask him about his master. Um, he probably won't be able to help with Lo whatever is in Los's head because, like he just said, he wasn't very good at it. Um, I'm going to ask him about his master. Perhaps he'd know well, more. Well, he's not here in Fort Joy, I'll tell you that much. Come okay. on, make yourself useful. There's got to be some... <laughs> well, Again, like love Lowe's. Might be able to tell you exactly so sassy. what's inside you might be any number of things a ghost a floater a lucid dreamer who took a wrong turn some let me try he places a thumb on each of losa's temples and one foot gently on her now let's see wow holy 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 you want to thank your lucky stars that thing hasn't turned you into a meat puppet by now oh, Crick on God. A cracker. you need help Serious. <sighs> Don't do me a favor. It's inner. Get out of here and hide you to the north of Driftwood. Love Driftwood. My old master was hot on the heels of something there, and if anyone can help you, he can. Driftwood, All right. Old master, hot hills. Got I think it. we'll make that a priority just to keep, or at least once we're out of Fort Joy anyway. I don't know where Driftwood is. I assume it's either outside of this fort we're in or on the next area in the next act. Um. That's your fourth master's name. Thank you for the information. That's your master's name. Don't dare say it now. Not while her guest is Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. I guess I could, like, leave her body worry. or her spirit and go like that find him. You, He'll either come to you, or you'll be drawn to him soon enough. 
All right. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, all right, guys, I think we're going to end up ending the video there. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like or comment. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys.